there are new LDL cholesterol lab tests that may show that your high LDL cholesterol is fine. May or may not. Let's check this out. This is exciting stuff. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor for 34 years. Let's get the world healthy here. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Tell other people. We have over 1,200 videos here for people to enjoy and learn. Well, today I want to talk about a couple new blood tests that you can do uh, if you have high LDL uh, cholesterol tests and you eat right and everything seems to be good, but your cellular cholesterol is high, your LDL cholesterol, maybe these tests will define whether you're going to, you know, have problems or not. This is very interesting. You may have high LDLs, but with a new APOB test, that's uh, uh, actually A-P-O-B, as in boy. They Actually, it's a protein that goes, you know, actually connects to your uh, cholesterol, your LDL cholesterol, and then it's a predictor of whether you're going to have cardiovascular problems, or you're clogging up your arteries of your heart. And if that is low, that probably means that more than likely you're not going to have any cardiovascular problems. And I think this is really great. So you could have high... LDL cholesterol, but if it's not accumulating, this will tell you. Next test is LDL particle number, LDLP. And this is actually saying how big is the cholesterol, you know, little particles. Are they very small, which is not good because they start to actually cling to the arteries and start to build up and cause, you know, atherosclerosis and cholesterol buildup. And, or are they large, in which they just kind of keep moving along through the bloodstream? This is important. And research show that these two tests probably predict whether you're going to have a cardiovascular event much better than the rest of the, you know, total cholesterol, regular LDL and HDL, and any of those. And the Apple B test can range anywhere from 20 to 400. 400 not being good. And the, you know, should be less than 100, 130. And the target is 65 actually to 80, which would be perfect. Normal blood levels for men would be 66 to 133. That would be the high end, not good. Uh, and, and ladies, 60 to 117. So this is important. Also, there are some things to consider if you're taking estrogen or have liver disease or you have an infection that could make your uh, Apple B test lower also. One study said that this was much more accurate than the regular standard lipid profile that we do. Another study said it was much more superior than any of the other uh, profiles that we do also. Another study said it was much more accurate at capturing the, the cardiovascular risk of a person. A bunch of other studies saying the same thing. It was much more accurate at telling you whether you, you'd have some kind of heart disease problem in the future. Well, talk to your doctor and have an ApoB test done and also the LDLP or particle test done. And these are better predictors of whether you're going to have a cardiovascular or heart problem in the future. This is new science, and I highly recommend it. Because um, a lot of people, they have, they eat right and do everything else, but they have high levels of LDL uh, cholesterol going on. And this may be the predictor saying that you have high levels, but they're not clogging up your arteries. Or that may be the opposite. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I have a lot of people who are, who are diabetics and people who have ulcerative colitis and all kinds of things. We turn those things around and get them healthy and work on the cause and healing the cause. Also, remember God, remember I love you. And, you know, if you were... Yeah, 2,000 years ago, you know, and during the time of Jesus being born, you're out there with your, uh, tending to your sheep. You had a lot of downtime, time to just be 
And these days we have no downtime at all. You have to actually work it into your day to have downtime. And we have, you know, eight hours for sleep, eight hours for work, and we need eight hours for relaxation and play also. I love you.